The Amazon River is one of the most famous rivers on our planet. For many years, it has attracted increased attention from both scientists and tourists from around the world. And it really has something to amaze you. Today, we will tell you why the Amazon River attracts hundreds of surfers, how dolphins appeared in the world's largest river, why no bridge has been built across it, and who finally decided to build a mega bridge across the most famous river on the planet. Enjoy watching. The Amazon River unquestionably holds the proud title of the most voluminous river on Earth. Its average water discharge is five times greater than that of its closest competitor, the Congo River, accounting for 18% of the total flow into the world ocean. This majestic river delivers more than 200,000 tons of water into the Atlantic Ocean every second, freshening it up to 160 kilometers from the coast. Vesente Yanez Pinzon, the first European to explore the mouth of the Amazon in the 15th century, named it the River of St. Mary of the Freshwater Sea due to the freshwater influence on the ocean's waters. Its modern name, however, was given by another Spaniard, Francisco de Orellana. In the summer of 1542, while traveling down the river, his expedition allegedly encountered warrior women resembling those from ancient Greek myths, the Amazons, and engaged in battle with them. It is now believed that these were indigenous women or simply long-haired indigenous men, whom the Spaniards mistook for women. However, the indigenous people made a lasting impression on the Spaniards, and Francisco, who initially wanted to name the river after himself, changed his mind and named it after the legendary Amazons. People never tire of talking about the Amazon. Its basin covers more than 7 million square kilometers, making it the largest river basin in the world. This area is comparable to the size of Australia, meaning that the drainage basin of a single river is equivalent in size to an entire continent. The title of the longest river on Earth also seems to belong to the Amazon. Although this remains a topic of debate within the scientific community, its length by conservative estimates is approximately 6,400 kilometers. But if we measure from the source of the UK alley, the length of the Amazon is 7,100 kilometers, which is 150 kilometers longer than the African Nile. However, the Amazon has a very complex and unstable course, mostly influenced by seasonal and climatic factors, making it difficult to obtain precise measurements. Therefore, the final length of the river remains a subject of ongoing debate. Now let's move on to some lesser known, but equally amazing facts related to the largest river in the world. In 2011, geophysicists from the Brazilian National Observatory, Valia Hamza and Elizabeth Tavares Pimentel, concluded that there is an underground current beneath the riverbed after conducting a comparative analysis of water temperature from wells located in different parts of the Latin American River Basin. Scientists determined that water flows in it from west to east, following the course of the Amazon itself. This underground current, unofficially named the Hamza River, flows at a depth of about four kilometers through porous soils, it's worth noting that the term river is used here with a significant degree of convention. The point is that the current is too slow. The water moves at a rate of only a few centimeters per year. This is slower than the movement of glaciers. However, the estimated length of the underground current reaches up to 6,000 kilometers with an average water discharge of 3,900 cubic meters per second. In this regard, the underground counterpart of the Amazon River lags behind the Nile by only 20%. But what's interesting is that the waters of this underground flow, which scientists believe can be as wide as 400 kilometers, have a high level of salinity. When such unusual discoveries are made, it's safe to say that humanity is still far from understanding the processes occurring beneath the Earth's surface. But no less interesting are the processes occurring on the surface of the Amazon. Typically, something amazing happens twice a year. Water from the Atlantic Ocean flows upstream for hundreds of kilometers along the river. The wave circulating during this phenomenon is called poroca. Its height reaches four meters and its speed is 25 kilometers per hour. It is so powerful that you can hear it half an hour before you see it. As you know, where there are waves, there are usually surfers. Since 1999, the Guam River Surfing Festival has been held annually. The festival attracts hundreds of participants. In other words, desperate daredevils are not so easily scared, which is why river surfing has many fans. But why does this phenomenon occur? As a result of changes in the position of the moon and sun relative to the Earth, together with the gravitational effects of the rotation of our planet, there is a powerful surge of salty waters of the Atlantic Ocean, which collide with the waters of the Amazon in a narrow, shallow mouth. 
the denser seawater pushes out the oncoming river wave, forming a boron. Encountering shallow water on its way, the wave sharply increases in height. In addition, from a wide delta upstream where the channel narrows, the effect intensifies. Paroka can go almost 800 kilometers deep into the continent. Perhaps this is how the Amazon became home to animals that you least expect to see in the river. And these are not the popular toothy piranhas or black caimans, but Amazonian river dolphins. They are distinguished by a long leathery snout, which is excellent for catching fish entangled in branches and digging out crustaceans from bottom silt. The Amazon River Dolphin reaches 2.5 meters in length and can weigh up to 200 kilograms. They have small eyes, as they don't really need vision in muddy water. It is much easier to find food using echolocation. But why did the original inhabitants of salty seawaters move to fresh water bodies? Healy Hamilton, a biologist from the California Academy of Sciences, believes that approximately 15 million years ago, the sea level was higher causing extensive parts of present-day South America to be submerged under salt water. Over time, the sea receded and some dolphins remained in their former territories. Over millions of years in the Amazon basin, these dolphins transformed into truly remarkable creatures, bearing little resemblance to their marine relatives. Another astonishing aspect of the Amazon is that despite the incredible advancements in modern science, no bridges have been built across the main channel of this magnificent river. It almost divides South America into two parts. Some of its sources are just 200 kilometers from the Pacific Ocean, while the Amazon eventually flows into the Atlantic. Several reasons are responsible for the lack of bridges. One of the problems lies in the river's uniqueness. Its water level fluctuates greatly. The width of its main course varies from four to five kilometers on average, but can expand to 20 kilometers during the rainy season. Additionally, the riverbanks consist of constantly eroding river sediments, requiring deep foundations for any supports. Moreover, the Amazon itself contains a significant amount of debris. However, the main reason for the lack of overland crossings is that constructing a gigantic bridge is economically unviable. There's simply no one to use it. The river basin does not boast a large population and there are few roads in the area. Those who want to enjoy the beauty of the Amazon rainforest prefer traveling by boat. This mode of transportation is also popular among the local residents. However, when it comes to the region as a whole, there is still one bridge. It is a cable-stayed bridge measuring 3,595 meters in length across the Rio Negro, the largest left tributary of the Amazon River. The bridge connects the largest Brazilian city in the state of Amazonas, Manus, with the municipality of Iranduba. Its central span reaches a height of 185 meters, ensuring navigational clearance even during the highest water levels. The bridge was constructed over four years with a total cost of approximately $625 million. Given its expense, it is unlikely that something similar will be built in the near future. However, there is one significant downside to the urbanization and accessibility of the Amazon basin. This leads to even more deforestation, Manus, which has surpassed a population of 2 million residents, is located in the heart of the world's largest tropical rainforest. In 2020, a total of 11,000 square kilometers of forest were cleared along the Amazon River, marking the highest level in the past 12 years. Despite the claims that tropical forests are the lungs of the planet, increasing deforestation did not deter the overall global GDP from declining by more than 4%. If Brazil, Colombia, and other countries in the region which control a significant part of the Amazon rainforests, do not reconsider their actions, the world will not be able to avoid the negative consequences. Write in the comments, would you like to visit the Amazon? Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Goodbye.